right, Shalom, Shalom. Uh, this is just a quick testimony. Uh, last night I had a dream. I had several dreams, which I don't remember the others. Maybe I will. I don't know. But I met Satan, the spiritual angel, Satan. I met him last night, and uh, he's a he's a, he's a very mean. He's a very very mean person. He's mean. He's very very mean. Very tall. Yeah, he had to be six seven or six eight. He had on a. He was wearing a black suit, all black from head to toe. He didn't have a tie on, nothing like that. But it was a black suit from head to toe, and he, he was he was he was clean. I gotta be honest, with you. he looked he looked good, right? But he's mean, very mean. Uh, his skin, he had really really dark 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 skin. And it wasn't exactly like brown skin. It was more like, like a charcoal gray, charcoal gray skin. All right. Very, very, very mean. A very powerful angel. Extremely powerful angel. Now, when I say he was very mean, I mean he. Not, I wouldn't say he was mean spirited. He would just. He would just. He will do. Uh, he he will do Yahweh Bashim Yahshua's bidding. He would do Yahweh's bidding, and he has. He has. He does it. He does everything Yahweh tells him to do. That's what a lot of people don't understand. Okay, he, he's a, he's a very very mean person, but he but he's not mean spirited. He 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 does the will of Yahweh. Okay, now his voice was very very low. Like I mean, like the lowest voice, and he well he wasn't very he wasn't real loud, but his voice was real low. He was he was austere extremely austere okay now when uh this is uh, the scenario in the dream this is what happened uh my brother my older brother and i were walking down the street and he got picked up by some boy that looks like an edomite right there wow anyway it's a lot here. he got picked up by some uh some edomite chick okay yeah, I remember he likes Edomite chicks. He, that's just what he does. All right, so he got picked up some uh, some Edomite chick, and I went, I wanted I wanted to go home, and so I jumped in the car with him, and they were, and she was driving like a bat out of hell, man. Damn, well, you know, with a lack of uh, better words, she was driving just all crazy, and ended up getting in a wreck and killing us all. We all died, and so. Yeah, I know it sounds strange, but I'm just gonna give this testimony. So we entered, you know, into the spirit world, and there was a, you know, there was a multitude of brothers there, and we were all sitting like in rows. And every time I have a dream like this, we're all sitting in rows. We're all sitting in rows, and and I noticed nobody was mentioning the names of Yahweh while Yahweh Shai, and so I took it upon myself, you know, I I got up and stood, you know, at the front of the congregation. And I said, never forget, all praise to Yahweh by Shimmy Yahweh Shai. And uh, all the rest of the brothers, everybody, you know, they were like, yeah, yeah, Yahweh by Shimmy Yahweh Shai. And it was beautiful. It was, it was a good feeling because we knew, you know, we was in the spirit world. Yahweh by Shimmy Yahweh Shai. And that's what it was all about. But there was this one voice, that real low voice. And I can't remember exactly what he said. But as, but as soon as he said something, I could tell and I could feel that, that he understood that I feared Yahweh also. That's why I said he he's not mean spirited, but but he's mean, and I could tell he was mean. And my first reaction was, I said, who was who said that? That's what I said. I said, who said that? Because he said something, and I can't remember exactly what it was. He said, I said, who said that? And he and, uh, he was in the very back, and he stood up, and it's it sort of like he kept standing up. You know, he was he was he was a large, large, large individual. And he said, I said that. And I was like, You are Satan, aren't you? He said, look no further, or something like that, right? And uh the, the, and again, I, I gotta say this, the reason why this this this, 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 was, this was crazy, man. The reason why I said he was a very very mean, because it was it was all over him. That's what he does. He does the bidding of Yahweh, and some of the things he's done upon this earth, man, deceiving people, 
you know, just just very, very mean things. But Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai is the one who had him do that. He's uh he's 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 very austere and, he, and he's uh he's, he's scary. All right, so, so you know, as soon as he said I said that, he I think he realized that I had fear. I had fear of Yahweh by Shimei Alashai. And so he left me alone. He turned around and there was there was uh, several other brothers. He said something like, he said, come on, y'all. They said, I can't, I, I can't even speak like that, you know? It was crazy. It was, it was powerful. But he said, he said, come on, y'all. Let's go to the sugar shack or something like that. Let's go play, uh, uh, let's go gamble or play cards or something, something crazy like that. It reminded me of that movie, that movie, uh, that 19, like 50 or 20, 20s movie or whatever, Green Acres, where uh, in the days of Noah, before the flood, they were eating and drinking. It reminded me of that because there were several brothers that was like, all right, let's go, Satan, let's do it. You know, hey, you know, they're going to go and have a drink and play cards and just act like niggas, man. And uh, I looked at them brothers and I was like, you really going to go with him do all that, all that folly? And they was like, yeah. So I, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I'll get back with you. Oh, boy. First and foremost, giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rekakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, of whom we, of whom I learn from daily, and we do too. I know you brothers do also. And a healthy shalom to the brothers that are out there doing the work in truth and sincerity. It's the brother Gabor Adama coming back at you. Now you heard that little quick testimony, uh, you know, while uh, I was, you know, headed to, you know, headed to wherever I was going. Um, uh, and it was, it was, it was scary, but it wasn't scary. Uh, here, here's the thing. If you're not walking after the spirit, the true spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, if he hasn't put his spirit on you, you, you're, you're done. <laughs> you're, you're, uh, you're finished. You're completely gone, man. Fear, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Now I did a video a couple, I don't know, two, three, maybe four days ago. Could have been longer. I'm not sure. You know, we do a lot of videos, but. Uh, about the fear of Yahweh about Shimei and he's he's not playing with us. He's not playing with us. Now, and I, and I know that I know that was Satan, man. I know I know it was Satan. You know, the Satan and the devil are two different two different things. You know, the devil's Esau Edom that is actually upon this earth, and Satan is uh you know does everything according to what Yahweh tells him to do. That's why Christianity's got so many people confused, upside down, and backwards. They they don't understand the Bible. But Yahweh Bashimi Shai, what did he say? He said, the election has obtained it and the rest were blinded. Even in that scripture itself, it, you know, it explains that Israel seeketh for it and he, they doth not find it. All right. So, you know, I hope you can follow me and I hope I'm not, you know, I'm losing anyone here. But you better feel Yahweh Bashimi Shai. You don't want it with you. Don't want it with him. You don't want it. You don't want it with him. Don't play games. Stop playing games. Stop pussyfooting around and get with the real 100 percent truth. That's coming out of the men's mouth, the side cry in the midst, uh, 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 in the streets, in the midst of the abomination that is done. All right. Romans 8 and verse 1. There is therefore no cond a condemn a condemnation, Slakia, to them which are in Hamashiach Yahawashai, who walk not after the flesh. You see, not after the flesh. We were in the spirit world. And it was, it was, it was, it was dark. And dim, but it was light at the same time. It was a balance. And we're going to get that scripture. You know, all this is coming to me through the spirit power of Yahweh about Shimei Shai. Listen up now. Listen up. Who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. You got to have the spirit. You got to have the spirit. And you can't make yourself have, have the spirit. You can't wake anybody up. You know, you got other people saying, we're going to wake up the house of Israel. Bring it out. You can't do that. You can't do it. You got to have the spirit. The spirit always bears witness, man. All right. Verse two, for the law of the spirit of life is in Hamashiach Yehoshai, have made me free from the law of sin and death. OK. And death for what? Verse three, for what the law could not do. What? What the law could not do. Why? Because we're up under grace. We're up under grace. We know we have a law, but the new covenant is when the laws are going to be put in our foreheads.
So I don't know what the hell these people are talking about out there. That talking about we can't die. Yeah, how about Shimmy Al Shah might make a point and kill one of you? Did you lose the fear of your how about Shimmy Al Shah? I met Satan last night. Okay? Oh boy. You don't want it with your how about you don't want it. For what is for, uh, let's read it again. Verse 3. For what the law could not do. Sit still. Salakia. For what the law could not do, in that it was weak uh, through the flesh, the Most High sending his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh. See, he walked to earth. Didn't the scripture say, those who profess he did not come in the flesh shall be condemned? And for sin condemneth sin in the flesh. The righteousness of the law may be fulfilled in us who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Okay? You see? After the spirit. Verse 5. I got to keep going here. I didn't plan on reading this far down in here, but you know, there it is right there. That's the spirit. The spirit quickeneth the flesh profiteth nothing. Verse 5. For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh. But they that are after the spirit, the things of the spirit. For to be carnally minded is death. So many Israelites out there that know the truth are super carnal, man. It's, it's, it said it's death. But to be spiritual minded is life and peace. There's your balance. Okay, there is your balance. And in the spirit world is rest, right? But we all come back what in the flesh. That's why we... Uh, what does scripture say? We, uh, we fight against principalities. In, in the flesh, we fight against our own selves. But the spirit shall guide you in the path and the way you shall go. You see? Proverbs 1 and verse 7. The fear of the Lord, Yahweh is the beginning of knowledge. But fools despise, despise wisdom and hate instruction. They hate it. They don't want to hear it. They don't want to hear that. They don't want to hear it. OK, but you how about Shimei Al Shai said, then uh, then it shall be known who are my chosen. And by that time, men's hearts are going to be failing them for fear. They're going to see things, apparitions. They're going to be dying. The blood's going to be all over everywhere. People are going to be uh, 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 graped, robbed, murdered, stealing and killing sedition among men. It's all in the scriptures. That's why we stay occupied in the prophecies. It's all right there. My son, hear the instruction. Verse eight. My son, hear the uh, hear the Salakia, hear the instruction of thy father, and forsake not the law of thy mother, for they shall be an or, uh, ornament, Salakia, of grace. Of what? Of grace was I not? That's the spirit and power of Yahweh. About you, shy unto the head and chains about thy neck. Verse ten. My son, if sinners uh, entice thee. Consent thou not. See, don't follow a multitude to do evil. You got to be in the spirit, though. The spirit's got to be dealing with you. He's got to be dealing with you for you to understand these things. Matter of fact, let's go down. Let's go on back down. I, again, I won't make this too long because <clears throat> I wanted to go into the balance because there was balance there. You know, this it's a it's a it's a quick testimony. And I remember what I could. But there was a there was a balance. The good and the evil was there. Satan himself was there. And I'm not saying he's evil. No. How can he be evil when he does the will of you? How about Shimei Shai? Christianity has got you all messed up. You don't understand. He has done everything perfectly. Everything Yahweh has ever asked him to do, he did it. Unlike his children upon this earth, we went off. You see? Come on, y'all. Don't you see it? Don't you understand? All right. So lock you for that. Proverbs 11 and verse 1. A false balance is an, is, what, it was an abomination. A false balance is an abomination to the Lord Yahweh thy power. But a just weight is his delight. Every emotion that you have, you don't think Yahweh about Shimei Al Shai came up with that in the first place? He made all things. Okay? That's why we got to walk by the Spirit. Because our emotions going to get us all kinds of messed up. Verse 2. In pride, when pride cometh, then cometh shame. But with the lowly is what is wisdom. And wisdom is the beginning of knowledge. The fear of Yahweh about Shimei Let's go here. Let's go here. 
Let's go into this because I want to see. I mean, you know what abomination means, but I want to, you know, I want to go all the way down into it. It's a, a, a just balance is uh, is is great. It's good. You got to have a balance. You got to have the good with the evil. But what do they tell you? God is love and he loves everybody. That's complete nonsense. There's no balance there. It doesn't make any sense. Oh, boy. Let's go to the blue letter. Let's go to the blue letter. For some reason, my app never works correctly. So. Done with that. Where was that? You see Romans 11 and verse one. Bear with me. I didn't plan on doing this, but we're going we're going. That's what we're going to do through the spirit and power of your how about Shimmy I was shy. Right. Um, there's no what. Salakia. Look, I'm messing all up here. We'll, I'll get it together. That's Proverbs. That's why, dumb, dumb. So lock you for that. It's sometimes, you know, I slip Proverbs. Proverbs. Oh, boy. I must be tired or something. Go, I'll get it together. So lock you for that. Bear with me. We're going to get into it. All right. Let's see. Here we go. A false balance. Let's go to it. Yep. A false balance is an abomination. Let's go to that word abomination. Okay. I accept your cookies. Whatever Esau eat them. Balance. Let's go to balance first. That is H3976. Mose Nayam. Mose Nayam. A balance. Okay. Scales. Scales, right? You know, when, you, when you enter into the courtroom, what do they say? Uh, how they put it? The scales of justice or something like that. And then they got this half-naked woman, <laughs> which is going off. Half-naked woman with some scales, and she and she's supposed to be blind like justice is blind, right? Man. Okay, scales, balances, all right? So let's, let's go back to abomination. H, 8, a, uh, 8, one uh woo H eight four four one call hello yeah how about Shimyawa Sha Strong's H eighty four forty one Toiva 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 All right A disgusting thing Y'all hear this? A dis Israel, you hear this? A disgusting thing, abomination, abominable, an abominable snowman. <laughs> All right. Ver uh let's see A in ri in a ritual sense of unclean food. Idols, mixed marriages, an ethical sense of wickedness, etc. Okay, okay, wickedness, etc. So, uh, proverbs, uh, fro proverbs, not proverbs. Salakia, eleven of verse one. A false balance is an abomination. We just read the definition of the Lord Yahweh, but a just weight is His delight. All right, so let's go back. Let's go back here. Let's read this right quick. I know I'm all over the place, but hopefully this is edifying. You know, hey, the main thing is fear the Lord, man. Gain wisdom. Get all you can. Seek you the Lord while he may be found. Because the famine of the word is coming. They messing with all our videos. They doing this. They do. You think they want us? Uh, uh, the things that we tell them, we're telling them they're getting ready to go into slavery. Yahweh Bashim Yahshai uh, thinks of them. And the scripture says this. It ain't just what we saying. It, you know, I could say nothing uh, of myself. That's why we read directly out of the Bible. Christians coming up uh, with bullhorns. They following us. We don't need you. The spirit is all over the brotherhood, man. Revelation 12, verse 9. And the great dragon was cast out that old serpent. The original serpent in the garden was what? That it was a man. And what did he give Eve? Philosophies. And that parlayed to Cain all the way to Esau, Edom. Let's read about it. Called the devil. And Satan, uh-oh, you see that? Which deceiveth, that's what Satan means, deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth and his angels were cast out with him. And that hasn't happened yet, okay? That's that great that great noise, that great war in heaven. Which Yahabashim Yahashai and his armies with his angels, his chariots are going to obliterate these nations, you know? And the devil's angels are what? His uh, F-22s, F-18s. Uh, uh, you know, whatever you call it, sidewinders or whatever you call them, damn 
uh, 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 carnal weapons of war. Yahweh Bashim Yahushua is going to destroy all that, all right? So let's go back. Where was I at here? Uh, woo! Let's stay in the spirit. Let's, uh, let's stay talking about the spirit. Because if we're not walking with the spirit, the spirit's not walking with us, you know. Yahweh Bashim Yahushua chooses us. We don't choose him. Christianity will tell you, I chose Jesus. He, you can't choose. What, what are you talking about? You, you mean you got power over the Most High and his son? Come on, man. Galatians 5, verse 16. You better fear your how about him, Yahweh Shai. Because Satan wasn't playing. He was very austere. Okay? He was very austere. All black suit, man. Wow. Galatians 5, verse 16. Then I say then, walk in the spirit, and ye shall and ye shall not. So like ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. And this flesh is absolutely terrible. <clears throat> Speaking of, I'm going to try to make it to camp tomorrow. My flesh is all kinds of messed up. You know, but it's all sanctioned through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. We, we need to see. We got the hell up out of here, man. Verse 17. For the flesh lust is against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary, the one to the other. So then ye cannot do the things that ye would the things that you want to do, you know, uh, the, the, you know, uh, not, are not are not through the spirit. These bodies are absolute terrible, earthen vessels, man, that are bound to be what destroyed. Even when Yahweh Bashim Yahusha gives his elect their new bodies in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, what's gonna happen to these bodies? They're gonna get laid back and burned, along with the people that still have their spirit in them. Their souls in them. You see, this is beautiful. Verse 18. But if ye be led of the spirit, ye are not under the law. Verse 19. Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies. Okay. E uh, let's see, evenings, murder, drunkenness, <laughs> revelings, and such like of, of, of which I tell you before. I tell you before, why? How did he tell us before? Because everybody gets regenerated. And I have also told you in past that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of the Most High Yahweh. All right. But the fruit of the spirit is love. And what is love? That you keep his commandments. But if the commandments have been done away with, you see, it's a whole quagmire, a conundrum. If you listen to the people that you shouldn't be listening to. Not understanding, not really digging down and, and digging down and reading for yourself. Ultimately, again, I'm going to say it again. If the spirit's not working with you, it's not for you. And if you're an Israelite, you're just going to have to come back in the nuts of another man. <laughs> and that's just, that is what it is. All right. But the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering, peace, long suffering, enduring to the end. as in pursuing in Matthew uh, 24 and verse 13, gentleness, goodness, and faith. The scripture said the just shall live by faith, the meek and the lowly. OK, we understand we really ain't shit on this side, man. We're nothing. We are nothing. That's why we got to walk in the spirit. You creatures of hope. All right, let's go. Matthew 10 and verse 28. This is red letters. And the and, and fear not them which can kill the body. Oh, boy. Yahweh is speaking here. Let's read it again. And fear not them which can kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul. You see, it goes back to the one that created it. Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. OK, and hell's not a place where you go. We all understand that hell is a, a condition on earth and is also the grave. You better, you got to fear your how about Shimmy Shai. He's not playing with us. I'm telling you. I'm telling you right now. He is not playing with us. He's not playing. That's why we got to keep the charge, man. Amos 5 verse 15. 
hate the evil and love the good. What is love? That we keep his commandments and his commandments are not grievous to the best of our ability. That's why he gave us grace. You see, you see, these precepts are perfect. It, 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 the scriptures are perfect and establish judgment in the gate. It may be that the Lord Yahweh, our power of hosts, will be gracious unto the remnant of Joseph. He had left the remnant. He left 7,000 men, which is the number of completion. Uh, There's 144,000 governors that's going to come back. See? Let's go here. Galatians, Salakia, Colossians 3 and verse 23. And whatsoever ye do, do it heartedly as to the Lord and not unto men. Okay? And not unto men. Proverbs 16 and verse 3. Commit thy works unto the Lord Yahweh. And thy thoughts shall be established. That's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Let's go back and see. We got to do the work, man. We got to do the work. And he said, well, if he comes back and finds you sleeping, that's not, that, hey, that's not a good thing. Then don't, don't you want to hear, well done, servant? Don't you want to hear that? Are you kingdom minded? See? Let's keep going here. I got a couple more and I'll close out. Actually, I got one more. This is First Kings. I'm getting blown up over here. Anyway, yeah, let's go here. First Kings 2 and verse 1. Now the days of David drew nigh that he should die. And he charged Solomon, his son, saying, I go the way of all the earth. Be thou strong, therefore, and show thyself a man. And a true man's not going to walk around in a dress. Not going to walk around uh, giving, uh, giving excuses, saying this, saying that, scoffing and mocking. No, he's going to do the will of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. That's what a true man is going to do. And if anybody has a problem with it, you can kick rocks. As for me and my house, we're going to serve Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. And that's that, Jack. Okay? Show thyself to be a man. Verse 3, and keep the charge of the Lord Yahweh. Thy power to walk in his ways, to keep his statutes and his commandments and his judgments and his testimonies, as it is written in the law of Moses, and that thou mayest prosper in all thou doest, and, and whithersoever thou turn thyself, that the Lord Yahweh may continue his word, which he spake concerning me, saying, if thy children take heed to their way to walk before me in truth. With all their heart, which is your mind, and with all their soul, there shall no fail thee, saith he. Okay, said he, Salakia, a man on the throne of Israel. Okay, so hey, right there, did, uh, did Satan ever cross Yahweh? The answer is no. Okay, so hopefully this lesson was, uh, lesson was edifying. Giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rekakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, of whom I learn from daily. And a healthy shalom to the brothers that are out there doing the work in truth and sincerity. What he say the whole duty of man was is to fear the Lord. To do, to do what he told you to do, to walk after his statutes and his commandments. Every chance you get, chant this wicked ass place down. DTA and Kwame Yasharala, Wa Abai Baba. Boom! Shalom.